Give me sound again. So, you know, we're doing a video about Eugenia Cooney. I've only done like a million videos on it. Hate that I'm kind of doing another one, but it's whatever. I, I feel passionate enough about it that I'm going to talk about it because it, it's something that drives me nuts daily and I feel like I can help some other people out there. So, so Shane Dawson uploaded a video recently about Eugenia Cooney and the fact that she has recovered and there's been a lot of mystery surrounding the whole Eugenia Cooney thing, her character, how much of it is real, does she have a problem, is she going to admit that she has a problem because she's never come forward saying that she has anything wrong with her and if you've seen images of her in the past she clearly looks like something is going wrong and I generally don't make videos based on emotional impulse but when I was watching the Shane video and he went and visited her and she was talking about her process going through uh, ED treatment for recovering from anorexia it brought back a lot of memories for me and I really hate crying like it's I, I hate it and I don't care how this video does or any of that stuff it doesn't matter but people say that you you may be able to say by by watching this video that she wasn't letting us in all the way that she was still in quote character of Eugenia Cooney the character that she is in in her videos the that she wasn't completely authentic that she didn't go as deep about how hard it must have been for her to go through this to have people tell her that she's unhealthy to hear all these things but I want to tell you as somebody that has struggled for I don't even fuck I don't even know forever the last five years of my life with an eating disorder <laughs> you do become a character you become a version of yourself that the world sees and and I know the world sees the very skinny version of you that obviously is unhealthy but you don't want to admit that that is the case you're in denial of that with yourself and even now, after she has recovered, what I really want to talk about is that now that she has recovered, is she going to get better? Is she, is she better? And I'm going to tell you that she's not. Because you, you will never fully get rid of this thing, this voice in your head that tells you that every piece of food you touch is going to make you fat, that it's going to make you gain weight or whatever. It's different for everybody that's gone through something like this. But for me, even now this morning as I was eating breakfast, I looked at this bowl of grapes that I got from my order from the hotel that I was staying at. And the first thought that comes in my head is how many stupid calories are in one mother grape like who gives a shit how many calories are in one grape I do how dumb is that and it's the thing that even now even though I am recovered at my lowest I was 88 pounds I had never had to go through any uh, treatment center like Eugenia has but even now as I'm recovered for two years I still do deal with it every day of my life and I don't think <laughs> I'm a gross crier aren't I I don't think that it'll ever go away <laughs> I'll never be the person I was before some stupid part of my brain just decided to be like you know what let's let's F Ryan up today and you know what let's not switch it back because that'll be fun I'll never be the same person I was before five years ago and neither probably will Eugenia Cooney and I understand that you may think that she didn't go deep enough and maybe she didn't but I never go I haven't gone deep enough this is the deepest I've ever gotten and it's just completely out of impulse I don't really know what I'm doing right now is it a good idea I don't know
do you want to say to the people that are struggling with this? Anyone that is out there that is that is still struggling with this or that has recovered and, and still struggles with it as I do, remember that you are at, if you have recovered, you are at the point where you've beaten it down and you can move forward and you know you can find a balance like I have I have found a balance even though it's not perfect even though it's not exactly like a free bird person where I can just go around eating what I want and I don't feel bad about it you can find a balance and be happy with where you're at and know that you've pretty much gone through the depths of hell and if you can beat this thing like Eugenia has and like I have then you can do anything and even though you'll deal with it probably for the rest of your life you can at least know that you did something about it and you didn't let it become the control that controls you and your aspirations and your dreams and allows you to never move forward with what you really want to do with your life because living in fear is worse than any disorder and that's that's really what I wanted to say in this video so I'm gonna stop crying now and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna watch Naruto Shippuden and I think you should too remember I'm Ryan and I'll see you in the next video